all right are you ready for the word luke chapter 2 luke chapter 2 let me see if i can do this in 40 minutes you are not you are behaving like a non-believer you don't believe <laughs> luke chapter 2 <laughs> luke chapter 2 verse 7 and she brought forth a firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. When men say there is no room, I'm sharing now. When men say there is no room, now when you become a believer, as believers in the Lord Jesus, what God expects of us is to follow Him. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, he saw in verse 18 and 19, he saw Andrew and Peter. Matthew 4, 18, 19, and he said, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9, he saw a man called Matthew, who was a custom officer, and he said to Matthew, follow me. And the Bible says, he arose and followed him. In Numbers 14, if you read verse 24, he said, concerning Caleb, because he has followed the Lord fully, he followed God fully. He followed God fully. He didn't follow God partially. He followed him what? He followed him what? You know, see chapter 6, if you read from verse 3, he said, we shall know when we follow on to know. In, in Psalm chapter 63, if you read verse 8, God was talking about those who follow hard after him. When you become a believer, you follow God. And as you follow God, you begin to ask questions on how to live your life. You begin to ask him for direction. Acts chapter 9 verse 6, a man called Apostle Paul, when he encountered God, the first question he asked, he said, what would you have me do? Acts chapter 16 verse 30, the jailer, when they broke out of prison, the jailer asked Paul and the other apostles, what must I do to be saved? When the Holy Ghost came down in Acts chapter 2, in verse 37, they asked men and brethren, what must we do? You need to ask questions. In Luke chapter 16, there was a man who was a steward. His master, he offended his master, so his master came and took the stewardship from him. In Luke 16 verse 3, the Bible says, and this man said, my master doth take away the stewardship from me. He says, I am ashamed, I, can, I cannot beg. What must I do? In Luke chapter 3, if you read verse 12, when John the Baptist was crying in the wilderness, some men asked him, Master, what shall we do? In Luke chapter 3 verse 14, some soldiers asked him again, what shall we do? In Luke chapter 12, there was a rich man, the Bible called him the rich fool, because he asked questions, but his questions were wrong. In Luke 12 17, he said, what must I do? Because I have too many room for my goods. In Matthew 19, if you read verse 16, somebody asked Jesus, he said, good master, what good thing must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, there is no good except God. What must I do? What must I do? What must I do? In Matthew 27, 22, Pilate asked a question, what must I do with Jesus called the Christ? What must I do? Life to move with God, you must ask yourself. And hear me, the greatest question in life is not the question you ask your friends, it's not the question you ask your neighbor, it's not the question you ask your enemies, it's the question you ask yourself. The place where we read, there are so many truths in that place. The first thing I like to tell us, the Bible says she brought forth. Somebody shout, she brought forth. I make a prophetic declaration this August. Any vision or dream or idea that is inside of you, you will bring it forth. Any purpose, any dream, any idea. Isaiah 66 verse 8, he says, Shall a nation be born at once? Shall the earth bring forth in one day? For as soon as Zion travel, she brought forth a man child. Maybe there is an idea that is inside of you. There is a project you are aspiring to attain. There is an apex and a zenith in life. I decree you shall bring it forth.
Take your seat. Listen to me. If you read that portion, the Bible never said there was no room in the inn. Please. Because when they preach about the birth of Christ, they don't tell us the, the true story. He said the place was full. The place was not full. He said there was no room for them. They were not qualified. It was kept for a certain people. A certain class, a certain pedestal. It was for the cream de la cream in the society. No room. How can a woman be carrying a little baby and you tell her no room, no chance? You see, this world, nobody has sympathy for failures. Never tell people pity me, pity me. Nobody pities a failure. That's the truth. That's how men are wired. People don't show sympathy for failures. People bow forcefully, compulsorily to success. Men don't do things willingly. They are, they are, they are coerced. No room for them. <laughs> if you have no sympathy for the mother, what about the baby? The other thing I saw, they put them in the manger to live with animals. They, they said there's no space here. There's a place where animals sleep. Take the baby there. Take the baby where animals sleep. Where animals. You know there are people that treat you like you are an animal. They, 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 they treat you like you don't matter. They treat you like you are, you are a leper. They make statements like you are an in, inconsequential, in infinitesimal, immaterial, irrelevant piece of nonsense. Like an animal. So go and stay with animals. Listen, when, when wickedness is at work, humans forget logical thinking. When wickedness is at work, humans forget logical thinking. When demons enter a person's heart, he forgets how to think logically. They go and stay. There's no room. <laughs> there are some of you now. There are people that feel they must not come close to you. Because they feel you are not in their class. They feel you are not in their level. They feel you have nothing to offer. There is a clique, a clique, a group of friends. A group of people in your office. They feel that you are not, you are not, you are not an issue. You are not worth getting a phone call from them. You are not worth getting an SMS from them. You are not worth getting a recommendation letter from them. You know, you know. <laughs> there are people you walk to you say, please, can I get a, recommend, a recommendation letter? Say, I don't know you. I can't put my reputation on the line. He has no reputation though. I can't put my image, I can't, I can't put my image on. He's actually looking down, disdaining you. But you know big men recommend big men. They don't check their reputation. Ah, this man is my friend, he's downstairs, talk to him. People, we live in a world where if you don't have God, you are finished. Doesn't matter what you have. Doesn't matter how much you have. Doesn't matter your educational background, your academic qualification. If you don't have God, you have nothing. You have nothing. People take leave of their logical reasoning. Now, there's something I saw there again. If I go further and I'll like a few points. The angel of God just left Mary. You shall have a child. Angel came down. Mary saw angel. When the child was born, Mary was expecting that everybody will open their door. The next thing I saw there is that the experience did not look like the prophecy. When your experience don't look like your prophecy, how can a child that angels heralded now sleep in a manger with animals? You know, there are some of you that think that the absence of your problem, the presence of your problem is the absence of your God. Sir, the presence of your problem is a proof your God is around. <laughs> angels say, Mary! 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 You shall have a child. And this child shall be great. This child will take over the world. This child will be a child of honor. A child that will save people from their sin. And yet when the child was born, there was no room. You know what some of you will do? I said it before. But that thing that I saw is fever. Is fever. Is typhoid fever. Which angel? Just imagine if Mary had told the prophecy to somebody. Say this child has come this pregnancy. Because Mary was a pregnant virgin. How do you explain a woman who has not been touched by a man and pregnant? If it is today, this day of social media, Mary is finished. He said, I saw an angel. And the angel now said that I'm pregnant. People will shout from the internet, pregnant and angel, kill you there! <laughs> you 
will see activists, biblical activists, some will come out. I am a Greek scholar. What I know is that the book of Deuteronomy connects to the book of Leviticus. This cannot happen. Angels do not come and do things that are immoral. How can I? That is why I do not argue. I'm a Bible scholar. I've read the Bible Genesis to Revelation 39 times. But can I shock you? You don't see me argue Bible with people. You cannot see. You know why? Scriptures are spiritually designed. It's not academical. It's not logical. You have, there are scriptures that are revealed by the Spirit. When you try to connect it with mental reasoning, you blow your mind. A prophecy had come. Now the experience did not match the prophecy. Ladies and gentlemen, nothing in this world should make you doubt a prophetic word. Nothing in this world, W-O-R-O-L-D, should make you doubt a prophetic word, W-O-R-O-D. Nothing in this world, no matter the experience, no matter the, 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 the compromise, the shaking, never doubt a prophetic word. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. It's not my word like hammer. It's not my word like fire that break the rock in pieces. Matthew 24, 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but not one word will fail. When God says a word, that word has the capacity and the potency to come to pass. You see, a man of God, there was a prophecy on my life that this and this will happen. But right now, I see opposite of what was prophesied the Lord would have me to tell you your prophecy is going through incubation process it's going through a period and when it has come forth it shall come forth as gold eye has not seen ear has not heard neither has it come to the heart of man what God has prepared for them that love him lift up your hands and shout hallelujah take your seat there are people that always think, listen, listen, not all negative things are demonic. All demonic things are negative. But not all negative things. When Job was going through the trials he went through, it wasn't demonic. It was negative. When Jesus was nailed on the cross, it wasn't demonic, but it was negative. Some of any time we see, once somebody is broke, hey, he say, attack, attack, my finance, attack. God may want to slow you down because you are in a hurry. Sometimes, when we see challenges of life, we tend to think that God has turned his back on us. No! <laughs> when men say there is no room, there are people who are standing firm to see that you don't go beyond a certain level of life because of the fear of what you will become. Now, the problem is this. They don't know that will even help you because, listen, when you try to sink a basket in the river, your back will break. Number one. <laughs> what did I see in that scripture when men said there's no room? Number one, it was for their good. They were rejected and not given apartment in the room, in the inn. It was for, it was what? It was what? For their good. It was for their good. It was for their good. It was for their good. I mean, men, listen, everything a great person will go through or become in future, he must have gone through it earlier in life in the realms of the spirit. Jesus was to be nailed on the cross at his death. At his teenage age, he had to go through carpentry. His father was a carpenter. He was a carpenter. So when they were nailing him on the cross, wood was not strange to him. He had been a carpenter. Moses was born in water. They carried him from water. He was to go through a battle in life which was called the Red Sea. Because he was used to water. When he got to the Red Sea, others were screaming. He was not screaming because he was born in water. Dream was to announce the life of Joseph. Pharaoh would dream a dream. And whoever interprets that dream will become great. So when Joseph was small, he started learning how to dream. My God. I asked the Lord. I said, why? Were they in the manger? The Lord told me, say, manger is a place where you keep sheep. 
it is controlled by shepherd. The helpers of Jesus that will bring gold, frankincense, and mine, we are shepherd. Shepherd in the spirit have to connect to shepherds. A manger was a place you keep animals, you keep cattle, you keep sheep. And, 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 the, and the three, the, the, sorry, the wise men that we are coming, we are shepherds. So shepherds have to connect to shepherds. Some of you, the reason now, you are going through poverty now, you are going through financial scarcity now, is because there is something about your future that looks like money. That looks like money. It looks like, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like money. That is why you're having money problem now. You can't pay rent. You can't pay fees. You can't feed yourself. You can't do this. You're always broke. There is something about you that looks like money. There's something about you that looks like financial explosion. The Bible says in Romans 8, 28, For we know all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. Lift up your hands and shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wants to show you himself. He wants to teach you how to depend on him. Psalm 34, verse 5. They look up to him and their faces were lightened. And they were not afraid. The Bible says in Isaiah 45, 22, he says, He's the he thus said the Lord that created thee. Oh Jacob, he said, I from the only one of uh, 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 oh, oh Israel. He said, I have called thee by name. Beside me, there is none else. The Bible says in Isaiah 17, verse 7, in that day it shall come to pass that a man shall look to his maker. Isaiah 17, verse 7. 17, 7. A man shall look to his maker, and his eyes shall have respect to the only one. Israel. In Psalm 1, 2, 1 verse 1 he says I will look up to the hills from whence my help my help my help come from the Lord verse 2 who made the heavens and the earth shall not suffer my feet to be moved he that keepeth me shall not sleep nor slumber number 2 I say it was for their good first reason it was for their good was because it was a connection in the spirit it was to a, a shepherd's house will only attract shepherds. Number two, it was for their good. It was for their good because when Herod, the Bible says Herod looked, if you read verse 8, the Bible says Herod looked for them everywhere. But there was no way Herod could go and look for them in a manger. Because it would not come to his senses that a human being can be with animals. I'm sure that some of the people that were looking for Jesus, they actually passed the manger. It was for their preservation. <laughs> they passed the manger. There are some times you have no money, so you cannot go for some big event. The event that an accident would have broken forth and killed people. God made your broke state make you stay at home. You were too broke to attend, so you stayed at home. When there was an issue there, A, young, a woman was traveling and she said, the son loves me, loves watching me on TV, watch our ministry. So the boy pleaded that when he comes to Nigeria, he wants to come to Auchi. So the mother said, no problem. He came from Lagos before he goes back to school in London. And the boy came, young boy, 18, 19, jumped on me, held my hand, and we took pictures. I shook his hand. And he said, pray for me, I have an exam coming. I held his hand and I had the word. It's in the name of Jesus, Lord, the day the exam be heard, may he not be in class. I didn't know when it came out from my mouth. So I started speaking in tongues to ask myself, what did I just say? Boy, he said, sir, you will not be in class. No, I have an exam. So I said, I don't know why that came out, but it is well with you, success. He left. The boy went, got back, read from 9 through the morning, read and slept some minutes past 5. When he opened his eyes, it was 12 in the afternoon. He had missed the exam. What happened? A student that was on drug got to the class. When he got to the class, he locked the front door, locked the back door, brought out a pistol, and started shooting students in the class. But Jehovah kept him at home. Who knows what would have befallen that boy? It is for your preservation. They passed by a manger. They enter into houses. They were bringing out people. I'm sure that that 
to in that they said Jesus could not go in I'm sure they entered there and they were looking for children under two years but there was no way they could have entered into the place where animals lay sometimes when you are going through certain trouble you ask God why you are going through problem in marriage you ask God why you are going through financial catastrophe you ask God why you are going through, through problems in the life of your children you ask God why you are going through problems in your profession you ask God why God says he is working it out for your good when men say there is no room when men say there is no room let me surprise you then in Israel when a child is born the child has to be with a carer what we call today a caretaker one of the examples was when Pharaoh's daughter had Moses remember what she said can I get somebody the mother does not have a right to be around the child immediately the child is born the child has to be taken through Jewish procedures but in the manger Mary was with they have to break that law the place of the woman is the place of the Holy Spirit which speaks of comfort Sometimes you go through certain challenges because God wants to establish his presence around you. The solidity of his presence. Psalm 139 verse 7. He said, where shall I go from thy presence? Where shall I flee from thy spirit? Psalm 51 verse 11. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not the Holy Spirit. Psalm 16 11. I will show me the path of life. For in thy presence there is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures evermore. Acts 3 19. It's a time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. When you are out of God's presence, you are released into affliction. Job 2 verse 7, it says, And Satan left the presence of God and afflicted Job. Lift your right hand and say, I need this presence. Amen. Exodus 33 15, if your presence go not with us, we will not go. I need the presence. I need your presence. Number two. Number what? Number what? Number what? Are you, the, are, you, are you the one that wrote it? What I wrote, I'm giving you a number, you are telling me. The first one was, is, it was for their good. I gave you one, two, three. So this is number two points. One A, okay, one A, B, C. So this is number two. Is, is it better like that? Okay, okay. <laughs> you are arguing what I wrote. <laughs> Amen. All right. Number two, that thing we experienced there, listen to this, this is very deep. It's very deep. It showed us a spiritual implication. And what is not handled at birth might follow till death. Jesus was rejected at birth and was rejected till death. Which you can get something here. Rejected at birth? You know, there are some people, you know, I hear people when they talk about when people try to sound educated over demonic activities. The worst thing that can happen to a man is for him to be academically sound but demonically attacked. When you say professor, who is a professor of linguistics and is broke? You see clean vocabulary, clean diction. He has power of diction, oratory of public speaking, but he's stranded. Speaking English on the head of an Okada man. What exactly are you insinuating you lifted me from these spots and I alighted on these other spots so I don't understand the correlation of paying you a 50 naira fare for a 30 naira sacrifice I was lifted from here and I alighted from there so I need you to tell me the semblance between your service rendered and this price you are demanding. They must say, okay, if you speak English, eh? Till tomorrow, you will give me my money. <laughs> and I was doing my master's, there was a, there was a professor we, we had in Benin. The man comes to class, he will speak English for two hours and he has not said anything. He's a walking dictionary. He will speak grammar, speak grammar, speak grammar. One day, <laughs> I was in, I was driving around a place called Ring Road. I saw him, so I, I lifted him. He was saying, I, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling so tensed in the car. So I increased the AC. 
He said, no, no. It, it's internal. It's internal. I, li- I like him. I just like his English. Even if it doesn't make sense. But I just like hearing the sound of the English. He said, it's internal. I said, what do you need? He said, it's internal. I, I like, I like, I like. I was driving. I noticed he was uncomfortable. <clears throat> so there's this tension within. An inner tension. An inner tension. There's this pressure, pressure on my intestines. Toilet, toilet, toilet. Toilet. The man won't shit. Now he talk like this. Oh, toilet. There's this pressure on my... I said, sir, are you pressed to you? He said, yes. The loo, the loo. I went, I said, wait till they speak. Which one be loo? You won't go toilet. Tell me. <laughs> he experienced rejection there are some of you if you look at your family there is something everybody experiences there is something everybody goes through some of you meet great men you meet people that matter but no one of them favors you if you scroll through your phone you have contact of who is who but there is no one that remembers to help you it has happened to a brother of yours it has happened to a sister of yours it has happened to a friend of yours and the same thing is happening to you now i come to prophesy on you that that experience is over forever he was hated even his own family he was rejected was rejected check where that battle started from he was rejected he was rejected jacob his brother chased him he ran and he got to laban's place he ran the spirit of running was from the foundation david he ran from saul he ran from absalom the spirit of running matthew 13 57 he says a prophet is not honor with honor except in his hometown luke 4 24 a prophet is without honor, save in his own country. They ran. There was no honor. There was no honor. There was ridicule. There was pain. Jesus Christ, his own brothers. They say, no, no, they called him. They didn't call him Jesus Christ. They say, is this not the capital son? Mark chapter 6, verse 3 and verse 4. Is this not the capital son? The Bible says he could not do mighty miracles. Mark 6, 3 and 4. He could not do many miracles. Many of us have gone through that in our life. Isaiah 53, if you read from verse 5, he says was despised rejected he was wounded for transgression bruised for iniquity yet we did if you read verse 3 of Isaiah 50, 50, 53 from verse 3 if we take it from there Isaiah 53 from verse 3 is despised and rejected of men he says he says a man of sorrows acquainted with grief yet we did we hid ourselves our face as it were from him we despise him and esteemed him not a man of grief acquainted with sorrows Said he was wounded for a transgression, bruised for iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him by his stripes. Re- rejection, rejection, rejection. One of the signs of foundational problem is when you are the light in the family. There's a problem. If you are the only one struggling to stand, it means standing is not normal. If standing is normal, there should be five, six, seven persons who are standing. When you are the only one, it means it's not a normal thing. That is why you must put your foot down. Matthew 21, if you read from verse 1. Mark 11, you read from verse 1. Luke 19, from verse 29. The same account, the same story about a cult that was tied at a junction. A place where four ways met. A cult! Mashallah, barakata. That cult was created to carry people, but something tied it. I preached a message some time ago, created for honor, but tied. Created, I don't know if you remember that message. Quite a long time. Created for honor. Now, it is animals. Hear this. Animals should be tied secretly. Where do you tie your goat? Where do you tie your goat? Your ram. Your chicken. Right? Behind, behind the house, right? But this animal was a donkey. Was tied in public where we met. It had potential to carry people. But it was restricted publicly. Do you know what it means for people to see you and they know you are qualified for something publicly and you are limited from getting it? Publicly. Satan always, people who have potentials, people who have potentials and talents and qualifications, the devil always likes to ridicule them publicly. Publicly. 
You can't fold your hands. You have to do something. You have to pray. It's like law. The first fundamental, if you're a lawyer, the first fundamental is law is that you don't build something or nothing. That's why lawyers go for facts. Oh, you wore a gown. It shows that you graduated. In law, your certificate is what proves that you are a graduate. They believe in fact, not truth. They don't believe in truth. The truth is that you graduated and the truth is that your certificate got burnt in the house. As far as you're concerned, the fact is no certificate, no graduation. You've got to contend what this force has done to your family line. You've got to lift your voice. Why, why this? Why, it followed him till death, till they killed him on the cross. Imagine a man they never allowed to enter into the room. They, they, in fact, the Pharisees were against him. The scientists were against him. The scribes were against him. The religious leaders were against him. Till he died. And even till today, some are still against him. Things don't change with time. Things change with force. Stop saying with time, things will be better. You will continue like that for 10 years. All object assumes a state of rest until that external force is applied. Don't say it will change with time. Things don't change with time. Many people said that 10 years ago and they are still struggling. Change 10 with force. You must apply a force to make things change. Am I talking to somebody here? You must apply a spiritual corresponding force that has capacity to tackle, to handle, to handle, to dismantle the forces that have confronted you, the mountains that have risen up against you, the valleys that have brought you down. You need a corresponding force and a corresponding power to pull them down. And that is why we are in this service this morning. Because the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob is about to change your story. He's about to answer your prayers. You you don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God say yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Lift your hands and shout fire. Take your seat. I'm ready. Number three. Number three, and then we're going to pray. When men say there is no room. The man said there was no room in the inn. Number three. Because they didn't see the future. People that are fighting you now are very myopic and microscopic. They don't see the future. Because if they see the future, they will know that they are fighting the man who will employ them tomorrow. Those fighting you don't see the future. They are too microscopic and myopic. They are too visually impaired. So they don't know. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. One of the men who fought for justice was called late Gani Fawaymi. And Gani Fawaymi was arrested. There was a, 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 the ADC of the former president, military president, Abacha. He was called Al Mustafa. He was the one that tortured Ghani in prison. He beat him in prison. He mahandled him in prison. When Al Mustafa was standing trial, Ghani was already released. When he was standing trial, they said to him, The only person that will help you win this case is Ghani Fawemi. And that was the man he beat in prison. How can you hire a man you tortured? <laughs> In John chapter 3. Do you like Bible? This, you cannot be a member in this church for six months and not be ground, grounded. It's not possible. It's not possible. You are a member in this church for six months and you don't know the Bible. Go to Orthodox Church. Just go and be collecting communion every Sunday. You don't belong here. In John, if you read John 3 from verse 5, 6, 7, verse 8, he said, The wind bloweth where it listed. Thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whence it goeth or whether it cometh. So is every man born of the Spirit. He said, You can't tell where it's coming from or where it's going to. Tell somebody, I am unpredictable. 
I know something about a man called Moses. Moses went to bed as a murderer. He woke up as a deliverer. I know a man called Joseph. He went to bed as a prisoner, but woke up as a prime minister. I know a girl called Esther. She entered like an orphan bought in slavery, but came out as a queen. Nobody can limit you. Those who are fighting you don't know tomorrow. There is something about your life. Listen to me, child of God. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, I know the thought that I think towards you. Thought of peace and not of evil. It says to give unto you, no, to me, not you, to me. To give unto me. I, I said to give unto me. And expected, no, to give unto me. You are too dull. Since you, since you don't want it, let me take it. To give unto me an expected end. To give unto me in Psalm 139 and verse 17. He said, How precious are thy thoughts towards me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. How precious are thy thoughts towards me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. Hear me and hear me, child of God. There is something about your life that nobody can predict there is something about your life that nobody can see you hear me the, hear this as I pray the Egyptians were the best of magicians any craft I went, to, I went to Cairo in the past 40 years I was the first preacher who did a crusade in Cairo when I went to Cairo they were showing me some motel uh, gods in Cairo 40 years they don't allow crusade now Egypt in that day in today's known for crafts. In that day was known for witchcraft. There's a difference between craft and witchcraft. There's a difference between artwork and demonic statutes. Alright? So it was known for wickedness. When and when okay, let me give you an example. When Moses dropped his rod, the magician also dropped their rod. Moses' rod became a snake. Their own rod became a snake. They could do anything you could do. They could see. How come that a man called Moses was in their palace? They trained him. They raised him. They could not see that 40 years later he would destroy them. There is something about you that nobody can see. Oh, I wish I was preaching in church. Tell your neighbor, my destiny is undecodable. Hey, tell your neighbor, treat me well. Say, treat me well today. Because I can change your life tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, treat me well today. Because I can change your life tomorrow. Tell your neighbor, buy me lunch after service. Because I may feed you tomorrow. service buy me lunch no not that I'm hungry for your own good and when I say lunch you have to make sure it is full chicken 
Uh, because it's the, it's the way you feed me, that's how we help you. Uh, just buy me lunch. Oh, you just. Not that I'm hungry, not that me. I'm not hungry. Oh. But so that when I, when I remember that food, just, just walk to me at the end of the service and just squeeze money in my hand. Not that I'm broke. I'm not broke, but invest, invest in me now. So that when I'm thinking of who to help tomorrow, ay, 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 hey! I have I have an uncle I have an uncle How many of you have uncles like that? They are in every family They are in every family Bad head Strong man Omologbo Ilamogwa in every family. <laughs> I have an uncle. He never believed in me. Never. And he said something while I was, my father would be surprised to hear this. While I was young, he said something. I was playing. I used to play a lot. Hey. Around 11 p.m. We will go on that floor. He says, I'll be playing ball. 11 p.m. It was that bad. We used to play a lot. My father would scream. But what shocked my father is that I would come out top of my class. So he's confused. He said, you play, play. Where did you read? I said, daddy, don't worry. Once he enter, he stay. <laughs> so he was, he, was, he was looking at me. This is my uncle. One day I played and I fell. I injured myself. That said, they should take me in. In the morning, they'll go and treat me. And he was passing. I was crying. Because my mom was, you know mothers, they would put hot water. Some of the press they press you is not actually the pain, it's punishment. And there's something they do. I don't know if your mother did it to you. After they press, they now take the, the water. Now press the hey! <laughs> My mother will not open your leg. Can't open your leg. She will now press the hot water. I said, Mommy, so yeah, he said, keep quiet there. It's like Next time, go and play. <laughs> you will suffer here today. <laughs> so I was crying. He was passing by. And the uncle said this one. Now nah, play, go kill him. Stupid boy. You can't turn up to become something. My mother, they don't mind him. She just took it casually. But I kept, you know, children don't forget things. Oh. I kept that word. So when they finished, me and me, right from when I was young, I, I would reply you. After about three days, he was brushing. I went to him. As a little child. As uncle, let no go kill me. Oh. I go be big man. You go suffer. I ran. So he, the water in his mouth, he poured it <laughs> on me. Amen. <laughs> Today, I, I have hold on. I've blessed him. Oh. I've blessed him. At least I gave him a car. And I try. But that's the till he die. That car is God bless you. Make it not be say I'll be Christian. I do you bad. Anytime my father brings up his matter, I, I just act like I'm receiving call. <laughs> I say, hello, hello. Father, I say, I say hey, sorry, sir. Hey, what are you saying? When he brings the matter again, I'm replying text. These people that are just texting me. <laughs> when he brings somebody else's issue, I say, hey, let's help that one. When he brings, I say, sir, you don't understand. I've spent some good money on that man. That good money is for my Christian life. If I'm to go by the word from his mouth, listen to me. If a child injured his leg, you could just say, ah, play, play. Am I correct? What if you will not become anything? Over injury that is not your, not be your injury, not be. My father is just here from the first time. Injury, ah, why are you playing like that? I'm going to flog you, you play too much. An uncle can say that. But you will not become. I saw that statement as a demon talking. And I made sure I did not know anything about spiritual warfare. I was still a child. I should be about 10 or 9. I replied, I'll become something. I said, I'll become. The, I did myself. I'll become big man. You go suffer. 
child of God, be careful. You, you know, be careful. One of my biggest strengths in life today is that I have made people. And I'm excited about that. I see people, I believe in them. I put my resources to see that people stand. That's what I live for. That, and that's what gives me joy. That's what gives me joy. That's what gives me joy. Don't look down on people. You are a landlord. That student you gave a room may be the one to feed your children tomorrow. Don't treat them as tenants. You are the landlord. Treat them as your children. In my house, I don't know how many people are living in my house, but there are many. We all eat the same thing. There's no rice and stew for Oga. Then um, yam and oil for the. We eat the same thing, the same pot. The same, in fact, they eat more than me. They eat more than me in that house. <laughs> same thing. Don't treat people wrongly. My wife buys clothes, buy for everybody. I give money, she will say, bring their own. We give. Treat people well because tomorrow. Today has delivered, though, but tomorrow is pregnant. Who are you? Why are you arrogant and proud? First Corinthians 4, verse 7. What do we have that we have not received? What do we have that we have not received? And if you have received it, how do you act like you did not receive it? The bike man carries you. Talk, tell him something nice. Oh, oh God, yeah. You're a wonderful man. Oh. This song, with the way the sun is hot, it even show your skin. This your skin is given by God. You fresh, don't worry, money they come. Money come now. You're not see your head. See your head. Your mate now kada. You don't talk like that, oh. I landed Lagos about five years ago. I landed Lagos and the drivers were not on ground to pick me. I came from the US and there was a cab I entered. I entered the cab. The cab will off for road. It will start, it go off. It was always going up. So I was, the man will come and say, I'm sorry. Sir. I said, oh God, not be your fault. Not be you be motto now. Motto the off. Not be you cause I'm. He will turn on the car. He will come back. Hey, this motto want to embarrass me. Oh, 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 oh God, I'm sorry. Sir. I said, make her come down, make her push her. He said, no, 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 no. He was taking me. Why was taking me? My people were coming. And they now stopped. So he saw security. I came down. When he saw security, because the car was parked, but when he saw security, he knelt down. Now spoil the motor spoil. Now spoil the motor spoil. Now spoil the motor spoil. The motor spoil. So I took my I said, Oh God, not before you, they can't carry me. So what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I carry him for airport. Now airport for carry him. He not do anything. I just liked him. And I said, Who was this car? He said, eh, not my own. I said, okay. I told him, I said, you should put the car somewhere. I put the man in the car. You just park the car by the side. And the guy followed us. I wrote a check for a new car. I asked him with his mouth, if you see better motor now, like, <laughs> like how much? He said, ah, he get one to Kubo, 350. I said, which car? Na bike? He told me I wrote 1.2. I said you should follow him. Because when he saw the money, he collapsed on the chair. He stood up again. He collapsed on the chair. He stood up. I said, this one is seeing the money in paper and he's fainting. If he see the cash, he will die. So follow him. <laughs> Do you know that day I slept? I was just smiling. You know I was smiling? I said, heaven now is just happy with me. I say, heaven is happy with me. And that's why I beg, I beg you all the time, sir. I beg you. I did not do that because I had too much money. That is the error people have. I did that because till that man dies, you pray for me. Service ended. You see people lining up like this. Some are trekking. If you can't carry wine down, 1,500. Put. Don't, don't do it to show off. Don't do it and ask for their number. Even if they ask for your number, say, forget my number, take a bike. Good gets reward 
when the, the, the beneficiary cannot reward you. Good gets more reward when the beneficiary cannot reward you. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, Abba before your throne. Glorious God. Beautiful King, excellent God, I bow before you, glorious, beautiful King, call him excellent God. Ah. 